And in Fayette County, a grand celebration is being held for a special day honoring some of the most important figures in our lives and a West Virginia native who got it all started. Off the top, U.S. Senator Shelley Moore Capito is making her way around the state as part of a program helping young West Virginians explore their options in military services. Base jumping is canceled at this year's Bridge Day Festival. Base jumping is widely known as the star of the show, so the news is, understandably, met with mixed reaction. West Virginia football visiting number four Oklahoma, looking for its first ever road win against a top five opponent. Sports anchor Trevor Denton joining us live in studio with an instant reaction. Trevor, how did that game finish tonight in Norman? Moving to the pandemic, where the U.S. continues to sink on the list of global vaccination rates, currently ranking 45th according to data compiled by the Financial Times. The CDC saying just under 65% of Americans 12 and up are fully vaccinated. And ABC's Ty Hernandez reporting schools continue to deal with the challenges presented by the pandemic. Well, a beloved local stop for Appalachian art, food, and culture, Tamarack is bringing in even more guests for its 25th anniversary celebration. As the search for Brian Laundry continues in Florida, Gabby Petito's hometown on New York's Long Island is remembering the young woman as her family prepares for her funeral on Sunday. A Beechcraft C-23 went down behind a barn on Opossum Creek Road. New details coming in last night. The Federal Aviation Administration telling us the single-engine plane crashed after departing Fayette Airport around 11 o'clock Sunday morning. Patrick McDowell is accused of shooting Nassau County Deputy Josh Moyers during a Friday traffic stop. Moyers has since died from his injuries. Over to crime, where two people are behind bars and two others still at large after an alleged burglary in Fayette County. So you guys have a unique background, obviously. Yeah. Let's talk about, because you guys have been open only since last October, talk about the challenges opening up, starting out when the pandemic was still really bad before vaccinations were available. Yeah, it seems like you guys have done a lot to make sure that the experience for your customers and you guys is as safe as possible. Let's go to your customers. How have you guys, I guess, like started out finding clientele and do you guys obviously based in Raleigh County, but I'm sure you guys are available to people from all over oh, the yeah. area. Yes. We're so the horses are more than qualified for the oh, task yeah, at definitely. hand. So have there been incidents or experiences that you guys have taken stuff that you want to learn from or improve, especially since I know you guys have only been in since October. So I'm sure there's been some sort of a learning curve. And again, especially with some of the limitations from the pandemic as well. Me personally, like I've maybe ridden a horse like once or twice. If I was looking to, you know, come out for a session, would you guys be able to, to help me out and, and give me an option for that? And so if people are looking for uh, information or who to contact to become a volunteer, to get more involved, see what the opportunities are, what should they do? New at noon, the National Transportation Safety Board and the Federal Aviation Administration are back on the scene of that deadly plane crash in Fayette County. Investigators are looking to piece together the final moments of the flight before the single engine plane went down. Over in Summers County, owls, falcons, eagles, and a vast display of birds are the sight to see at one nature reserve. Hungry locals and chili lovers from near and far are coming in for an annual chili night that's a 30-year staple in the Raleigh County community. Authorities in Florida making this sad announcement Saturday afternoon. The body of 19-year-old Mia Marcano has been found. What a celebration there. I think it's time to get on the phone with my parents and ask them yet again why I have yet to make a trip down to Disney World. Folks are rolling up on one parking lot in their nicest rides and donating to a special cause to bring the best medical care to children in need. Democratic leaders are facing criticism for postponing a vote on the bipartisan infrastructure bill as progressives and moderators wrangle over a much broader spending package that includes funding for social services programs. All right, thank you, Emmy. Well, I guess I am going to have to be prepared. I mean, it is October. We haven't seen as much rain as we did last year. We turn now to a developing story out of Texas. A three-year-old boy missing for the past four days found alive.